Though he once thought Montreux tediously quiet, Freddy's increasing appreciation of its tranquil beauty led him, from the late 80s onwards, to buy a flat there and occupy his time with its decoration. This distracted him partially from the far more serious matter at hand. Though they all heard about it in different ways, the news that Freddy was HIV positive was equally devastating for all those close to him. I received a telephone call from <coughs> uh, Freddie's GP to say that he'd had no response from telephone calls and would I remind him to call, which I did. Subsequently got calls back saying I still haven't had a call from him. So I pursued, and in the end I, w I was told why um, the GP needed to speak to Freddie. And I felt my heart fall out of my boots. I suppose anyone's immediate reaction is, oh my God, are you sure? Yes, I am sure, darling. I'm the best doctor, the best of everything. And I, you know, I, a, a natural reaction, I suppose, is to say, well, let's find somebody else. You know, and he, he then just said to me, he said, well, listen, um, the door's always open if you want to leave. And I suppose my reaction was, I just look and said, I said, listen, don't be so silly. I'm not going to walk out over something like this. One of our visits, family visits, we were in his bedroom, just uh, me and Roger, and he just told us. I was in the kitchen on my own, and he came down from upstairs, and he just said, well, look, I've got something to tell you. I says, yeah, OK. He says, look, you know I'm sick, don't you? And I said, well, yeah, I've got a good idea. He says, you know what it is? I said, yeah. He says, well, that's it. You know that's it. It's not going to be talked about anymore. We do not speak about it anymore. And then at one point he decided to just sort of invited us all over to the house for a meeting. For, and, it, and he just sort of told us, you know, the absolute facts. The facts that we were really starting to realise anyway. Um, and really that produced a, a coming together, a closing of the ranks. The way he was telling me that, you know, I am, I am a seropositive, he says, and I developed the illness. I says, but you are so strong, and you sing like, you sing, and, and yes, I still can do it, he says, but it comes a moment no more, and I know that. And I want you to know, because it's my duty to tell you this. I say, no, it's not duty, but I am very thankful that you have told me, because that means I have your friendship, and this is most important as anything to me.